Hello everyone, it's Scott here from Anime Blu-ray UK and today I'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Steelbook Launch Edition for the visual novel Anonymous Code, which was released onto the Nintendo Switch by Numskull Games. So the Steelbook Launch Edition was, as described, the launch edition of the game and it came with the game and the Steelbook case. And today, I'm just going to open it up so I can show you what's inside. So to start off with, we have the front cover, which has some really nice looking artwork on the front and then the actual logo for the game, and then an indication that this is the Steelbook Launch Edition. Moving on to the spine, you'll notice that it's not actually a box, it's just a sleeve going over the two items, similar to what they did for Chaos Head. And then on the back cover, which might be quite hard to see as they've used a very dark red font on a black background, but there is a synopsis there for the actual game and some key feature elements highlighted. The background has some really cool, interesting artwork from the game. And then there's uh, a variety of screenshots from the game itself. We have a couple of uh, high moments highlighted to say this is a feature of the game. Underneath that is the usual technical details. Uh, and as this is a visual novel, you can play it on your Nintendo Switch OLED, standard Switch, or Switch Lite, docked, handled, however you would like to play it. Now, as I mentioned, this is the Steelbook launch edition of the game. And so how Numskull Games released this in the UK and Europe is they put the Steelbook and the game case together in a sort of a sleeve that slides out. So that way you get the actual game in a standard game case and then a separate Steelbook case to use for collector's purposes. Now, I personally like this option as it means that you get both the artwork featured on the standard game case as well as the special artwork that's on the steelbook case. But I know some people aren't too keen on having a empty steelbook case on the shelf, but I think it's a nice option to have. So here we are again with the front cover, the spine, the other side of the spine, and then the back cover. And the sleeve itself has sort of a rough texture to it. It's not thin cardboard or bendy cardboard. It's quite strong and sturdy cardboard, which is quite nice to have. And it's something that uh, Numskull Games have done in the past with the Chaos Head Steelbook Edition. So here we are. We have the Steelbook and the Chaos Head game. But first of all, we're going to look at the actual Steelbook. So on the front cover, we have some really cool looking artwork that sort of shines the reflectiveness a little bit when in the sunlight. Uh, I haven't actually played the game yet, and I don't know anything about the game, so I'm diving in quite um, empty, I guess. But I really do like the front cover artwork. We then have the spine, which has the anonymous code logo. And then we have the back cover, which again features completely different artwork and is shiny and reflective when you move it in the sunlight. So yeah, quite an interesting steelbook to have, and I'm guessing it represents key elements and moments from the game. But even without experiencing the game yet, the artwork on that steelbook looks really nice. Now we're moving on to the actual standard game. So once the launch edition runs out and there's no copies available, it will then go to the standard edition of the game, which is what we have here. And as you can see, the artwork and presentation uh, is exactly the same as what it is on the sleeve. So if you lose that sleeve, it's not a big issue as all the artwork is exactly the same. Nothing new there. And then once we open this up, we'll be able to take a closer look at the contents. Uh, I'm not really expecting much as previous Numskull games have been quite empty on the inside, but we'll never know. We might be surprised. So here we have the front cover again, uh, the spine and the back cover. Once again, exactly the same as the sleeve. And on the inside, there's nothing. It's just plain white, empty. And even the actual Nintendo Switch cartridge doesn't have much to shout home about. It just has the anonymous code logo the Peggy rating logo and the Numskull Games logo. So there's nothing really inside there to get excited about, but at least the artwork on the Steelbook and the actual outer sleeve is nice. So that's pretty much what you can expect from the Steelbook launch edition of Anonymous Code for the Nintendo Switch, which is now available in the UK and Europe via Numskull Games.